The Freshman Imaging Project is not a normal lecture kind of class. It's actually a class where you get to collaborate with other students and research, design, and build uh, your own imaging system. It involves a year-long project uh, between imaging science and motion picture science majors where they have to design and develop a working imaging system that can complete a certain task. So our project involves active infrared thermography and that involves using visible light to heat up a source, uh, in our case a document. Section 2's project revolves around the idea that visible light is at a higher energy than infrared light. So what we use is called the Stokes shift. So the Stokes shift idea is that since the visible energy photons have more energy than infrared energy photons, the document will absorb those visible energy photons, absorb some of that energy as heat, and then re-emit the, the remaining photon energy as a lower energy photon, which in our case will be infrared. And then we can use the, our, the FLIR cameras to see that. We incident visible light upon the document to look for hidden or degraded text since text and the papers such as vellum or linen have a different uh, black body emissivity and the ink will decay at a slower rate in terms of emitting those lower energy photons in the paper well. So the equipment that we've used for this project includes infrared cameras which help us see the different thermal signals that we can't see in the visible range with our own eyes. And uh, we've also used visible light sources such as uh, photography flashes and film projectors to actually incite that visible light onto the document in order to heat it up. Uh, but we've also used a lot of third-party software and programmed a lot of our own software to read those uh, different signals coming off of the infrared camera in order for us to characterize and produce better images that we can't see uh, with our own eyes. In order to process the images that we take, we're using Envy, which is an image processing software and GUI, specifically to try to pull out um, the text that looks fuzzy when it's just a passive image, but it'll bring it out. We're also using certain MATLAB codes and techniques to try to do locking processing. So I built a structure for our system. Uh, it's made out of 8020. It's kind of like a big boys rector set. And um, there's a lot of different connectors and uh, things that I've worked with to basically from the ground up build uh, the backbones of our structure. So it holds the lights, the camera, the document. 